Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Sliding on Two. Hey, today I'm just doing my 10,000 mile review. Uh, she just made 10,000 miles just like a day or so. We went on an out of town trip, me and a couple of my Harley buddies, and I hit 10,000. So I think, let's look at it. Little over 10,000 now, let's turn the key on so you can see it. So it's right at 10,048 miles right now. So I just wanted to do the, a 10,000 mile review just so you can get an idea of what she looked like and just talk about a few of the things that I that I've done to it, it's pretty much as I purchased it, I only added a few things. So we can start here. I added the, the lights here for the tail lights and the license plate holder. Uh, Dark Vader, of course, I added Dark Vader. But it's pretty much as is. I also added this phone holder and it charges on the phone and it's cup holder. Of course, I have my stick for my, my GoPro. And that's pretty much all I've done. I've added this bag and one of my Harley buddies gave me this bag. So other than that, everything is as is. So those of you that don't know, it's a 2009 Kawasaki Vulcan twin cam. It's a 900. So it's not a very big bike, but it's, it's good enough for me. See, it's a 900. You can see that. And so there's just a few things that I've had to do to it. Um, what I like to do is change the the saddle bags and get some hard bags for it. And I've been looking, but you know, it's really hard to find bags that are fit that I like. They have bags that fit and they're round. I just like the longer Harley bags. I'm probably going to have to get someone to modify the bags for me. And the seats, I want a driver size seat rest right here. And there are some cheaper seats I found on Amazon and eBay but I'm really afraid to get them because I think they're not going to fit. Um, now Mustang has a seat that looks exactly like this seat and it'll fit, but we're talking, you know, eight fifty nine hundred dollars and I'm just not willing to spend that much for it. So one of the things I wanted to do, I wanted to change the amber lights that are on here and put white, but I think here in Texas, it has to be amber lights. But one of the nicest improvements I made, and I'll show you, let's turn it on, is the turn signals. They were amber, they were amber turn signals, but I got what's called a uh, switchback. As you see, I'm at the park, I man, there, playing pickleball and basketball. And so I'm not alone. <laughs> but anyway, so I got what's called switchbacks lights on them, which is really cool. And let me show you what the switchbacks look like. I'm gonna turn the left signal light on. And so I turn the left signal light on. It's actually flashing amber. All right, so it came with the uh, amber light. Here's my son. <laughs> and uh, it came with, with amber light covers, white lights, but amber light covers. So I changed those and I put the switch back 
lights on it, which are really cool. Let's do the left side. And I'll show you what the switchback does. They're white, but once you put the left signal light on or the signal light on, it turns amber. Turn it on. And it go it goes back white. When you turn it off, let's do the opposite one, the right side. So really cool. They're called switchback bulbs. I'll get in really close, see if you could actually see it, but I'll show it on the screen what they look like. And I got them off of uh, Amazon, about 20 bucks maybe, but it's really cool. It, it allowed, you can turn it off. It just, when I, they would just had white lights with amber caps on it. And uh, I really didn't like that. So now, I, so the only thing I did was change it to white caps added the switchback bulbs on it. So I like that better. It has, this, I, they call switchbacks and I'll put a picture of it with the number on it. And this is a, the 09 Kawasaki. I mean, I guess you have to tell it what your, your bike is. Uh, they might be pretty universal. So go ahead and start it up. And I changed the headlight and put an LED headlight in it. And it's really nice. I really love it. So that's that's another thing I did. All right, just hit the Kia switch. All right, so another thing I did, I actually took this whole thing loose and I put in brighter bulbs there. So those bulbs are a lot brighter. And here's the high and the low. And let's see if I start it, what happens. So here's the turn signals. Right? So left and right. So that's another thing I did. You have to take this entire body off and turn it upside down. And then I bought LED lights to put in it, so it's a lot brighter. I mean, it's, it almost blinds you at night. It's almost too bright. So I like those. So, so that's basically the only thing I did to it. Like I said, if I, the other modifications I wanted to do is just get that driver's side back rest, so I'm going to have to get a different seat, change the bags to hard bags. The handlebars, I really want to do... Uh, the handlebars are good. They're really comfortable on a long ride. I just want to raise them up a little more. I think I want to go to maybe 12s on it. And I talked to the people at the dealership. They said, you know, if you change it and you go too high, see the cables right here? All of the different cables. If I change it to, to like... 14s which would be too high for me uh i would have to actually add more cable which is going to be a big cost so i don't want to do that the dealer say i can go with a 12 inch handlebar without changing anything because they're laid back so if you raise the handlebars up that are on here now it goes up to about 12 so i think that'll be good so that's basically the only thing i really want to do to it other than that it runs good. I've, you know, changed the oil a couple of times. I'll have a video on that. Change the cooling, have a video on that. Also change the brakes once. So I bought it in, I think it was May of 2022. And the day is March 21st, 2024. So and it started out with 3,000 miles on it. And so I've really been riding and probably put, I'm really happy with the bike. I've actually looked at a couple of hardest that I really like, because if there's anything I would like to have on this bike is the, uh, a fairing where I can have a radio. Now, as you can see, it actually came with a radio and I didn't have to put it on there. So it's a Bluetooth radio i'll show you right here it's a bluetooth radio right here and here's one speaker on this side and there's another speaker on the other side and it's pretty dark 
and it's just Bluetooth to my phone. And I'm ready to go. But I, you know, I really would like to have a fairing on it, though. That would probably be the only other thing that I would do to it. Other than that, I am pretty happy with this bike. Um, now, my only thing is now, if I go up to maybe 1100, the Vulcan has 1100. So maybe either I go up to the 1100 with the, uh, I think it's a Vaquero that has the fairing, or go to the Harley. So I'm not sure about that. So stay tuned and we'll, we'll see. Keep watching the videos. And uh, I went to the Harley dealership today and actually looked at a 2023 road glide because I really love those road glides. And it was like red and black. Um, I only had like 38 miles on it. So it was a brand new 2023. He said it would run in between... 20 to 25,000, depending on what all I want on it. Eight miles. Yeah, it's brand new. Oh, it's brand new. But it's a 23. Yeah, it's 23, brand new 23. Brand new 23. That one there, that lets you know also where your tire pressure is. Right. Yeah, I'm here with Russell, man. He's trying to get me right, man. I don't know. He want me to test drive it. I don't know about all that. Because <laughs> if I test drive it, I might want to keep going. <laughs> I had to go do the paperwork then. Man. You know, I'm not ready. I love this one. He asked me, was I going to trade this one in? He wanted to look at it. I said, no, I don't need you to look at it because I'm not going to trade it in. If I do get a Harley, I'm going to keep this one for a while because I just love the bike. You know, of course, they tried to get me to test ride. I'm like, no, thank you. You know, once you test ride them, that's it. They got you. So anyway. That's the 10,000-mile uh, review, and so far, so good. Haven't had any problems out of it whatsoever, and I just love the bike. And one of the things I really like about this bike is that the floorboards here. I mean, I really love that. I'll probably just put some nicer floorboards on it. Uh, the I like to have a floorboard on the back for the passenger. Because uh, just to make it look a little more fancy, more silver on it. And I'll probably change the, the brake pedal. But I love the floorboards. I rode a friend's Harley last week, man. And going about you know, 60 down the road without a floorboard, man, I couldn't keep my feet on the page. Like the wind was knocking my feet off the page, but the floorboard's just really comfortable. All I have to do is sit my feet there. There's one more thing I added on there that I didn't show you, and that was the uh, underglow lights. All right, so here are the underglow lights that I actually, a friend of mine, helped me add them on there just uh, under the tank <clears throat> and so I really like it it's pretty light outside right now so you probably can't really get a good view once it gets dark I'll probably take a shot of it I mean I probably could add more but I'm okay with that so all right so we're gonna ride it to the house and by the time we get to the house it'll be dark and so uh, I can show you how the uh, undergo lights look. Stay tuned. All right, so this is what it looked like with the underglow lights on. Now you can get a better view. So it lights the ground up pretty well. So I may add more around the wheels. That's about it. But the light is really bright. And I'm not sure if that's on high beam or low beam. Let's put them on low beam and you'll see what they look like. So that's low beam. But I'm really satisfied with the underglow lights. I think it's just enough. I may add more, like I said, on the wheels. All right, guys, that's going to be it for that 10,000-mile review. Hopefully, we'll be doing it again soon. 
Make sure you keep tools on the ground and make sure you ride your ride. Later.